My name is Jim Augustine. I'm the COO of Zuckerberg Media. Zuckerberg Media was founded by Randy Zuckerberg right after she left Facebook. She saw a problem in Silicon Valley, which was that the, uh, the tomorrow industries, the industries that are really building the future, uh, have a diversity problem. <laughs> uh, and a lot of that starts from the inception of companies that uh, uh, entrepreneurs tend to have a look about them uh, and we know that if we want our companies to reflect our populations we have to create entrepreneurs who look different than the ones who uh, typically go into entrepreneurship. We know that generation after generation we've been seeing a decline in entrepreneurship. That comes from lots of different places, lots of different reasons, but a big reason for that is that the dollars have gotten siphoned up into these centralized systems. If we can let the dollars that are in the marketplace speak, if we can let consumers speak instead of individual VCs, right? We can create a marketplace that is much more dynamic, that has much more competition, ultimately, and that can reflect the diversity of our population, both in this country and also globally. So crowdsourcing is the future, Thank goodness for that future, and I can't wait to, to be a part of it as much as I can be as soon as Pledge Camp comes out. Some of the challenges that we face, especially in terms of changing diversity uh, and, and inclusion in entrepreneurship, is in the funding space. Uh, there is early on, you'll find friends and families will will help one another out. But by the time you get to later stage funding, even later stage seed funding, uh, these companies can't really find their footing unless you have a really polished, highly educated um, uh, CEO or founder who's part of the package. And that's not how it should be. Great ideas come from everywhere. Great ideas come from people who have six PhDs, and they also come from people who didn't finish high school. And we, we see that in Silicon Valley. We see that among the founders. And yet we don't um, kind of expand that within the funding model. So what I'm excited about with Pledge Camp, for instance, is that it gives people the opportunity to reach far beyond their own friends and family, the people that I know, uh, you know, just to my left and to my right, to be able to get their message out about new products. And it lets the marketplace decide what new products should come to market, regardless of who they come from. You guys, what's great is that you're making something of the blockchain that can be a really positive impact, as opposed to people who are kind of just like, Change is good because it's going to make me rich <laughs> without really knowing what their end goal is. My first impression when I heard about Pledge Camp was fear, if I'm very honest. Uh, the, the crypto space is new. Uh, I am a stick in the mud. I am, my job is to look at liabilities. And so when I see crypto, I see a bunch of liabilities only because it's so new. Uh, one of the things that I have been so thankful about in working with Pledge Camp to this point is that they are experts <laughs> in this field. Um, they, and I should say you, all of you here, are experts in this field. Um, Pledge Camp knows what it's doing. It's taking blockchain to a, a, a place that can be really useful in society. Um, uh, and, and they know all the ins and outs. They know the pitfalls. They know the liabilities. They've made my job as an investor very, very easy. Um, and, and I couldn't be more happy to be participating in a blockchain that was specifically geared toward helping other entrepreneurs. Um, so I, it's started as fear. Now I, I, I am, I'm quite excited to, to beat the drum.